Hi there, I'm Andrew. Welcome to Urban Rider for another look at some of the world's finest riding gear. Today we're going to be showing you the Rogue Peruna helmet. This is new from the Dutch brand Rogue for spring summer 2019. It's pronounced Ruch and it actually means rough rather than rogue as it sounds. And they are new to us in Europe and this is their first full face helmet. They released the Jet last spring summer and that proved very popular. So they've entered this full face market and their first effort is the Peruna here, this motocross inspired aesthetic. Now, when we heard they were making this, we did wonder because this is, to be fair, quite a saturated part of our market, which is essentially defined as motocross inspired designs for a helmet, but for people who really want to ride on the street primarily. People like myself, I have a desert sled, as I've mentioned in a few videos, which has that slightly on off road aesthetic to it anyway. And I really love to wear my Moto 3 whenever I can because it has the right looks and you get the airflow of an open face with the protection of a full face. So when we heard these guys were doing it, we did think it was unlikely to be earth shatteringly exciting. However, Having seen the final product and having been at the Bike Shed show last weekend, this was on display alongside five other of our best-selling helmet brands. And it was the Rogue Peruna that we have here that attracted the biggest crowds and actually took the most number of orders, which was really interesting. And it's only really when you get up close with these that you appreciate why they're so good. They are supremely comfortable and they just look great. So they have a slightly more toned down aesthetic than something that is single-mindedly motocross inspired than say the Moto3, which is a sort of benchmark in this territory, I suppose. And they have a little more of a sort of generic classic inspired design going on. So it's not as hardened. This could work on something that is more classic like a Triumph Bonneville say, which I don't think you'd ever find working well with a Moto3. So it's a, perhaps a little bit more versatile there's some really great colors to start the range off. So we have a selection for you here. They're all in stock and available now. The price is $214.99 and you get a fiberglass shell. So this is a good quality shell and the finish on these helmets is really wonderful. The colorways are great. So we've got a few to show you in the matte black. You have this lovely metallic gray color. We have the Umpar orange, which is quite vibrant. And we have the cornflower yellow, which truth be told is really rather more orange than it is yellow. So you've got a more lighter orange and a more ready orange, I suppose. The helmets all ship with with the peak that you see on the orange here included. And this is also available as a £12.99 extra in a number of different finishes. So the standard peak is this slightly translucent smoked peak and that comes in the box with all the helmets simply attaches and removes by virtue of this three snap mechanism on the top of the helmet with the poppers. And there's a whole load of different finishes. We've got chrome on two here because it looks really good. There's also pinks and so on, and you can accessorize with those. You've also got the option of goggles, which you can see here, which come in at about 35 pounds. And there's two different goggle options. You have the all black ones and you have the checker version. Both of them come with a smoke lens. You can also buy a clear lens as standard as an extra. So the accessories are really cheap. They fit really well and they look fantastic. So the fit of the helmets is one talking point that we must discuss because the fit is, I think, really comfortable, as I said. However, it is 100% one size too generous. This means if you're normally an extra small, sorry, move on, find something else. Uh, however, for everybody else, you just go a size down because they are a size big, if you follow me. So a small in these helmets, fits a 57 and a 58 centimeter head. I have just under a 58 centimeter head. This normally makes me a medium. Here it makes me a small and it fits very, very comfortably indeed. The fit of these is pretty universal. It fits very comfortably oval head shapes as well, which is unusual a lot of the time at that end of the spectrum. People with more oval heads do find too much pressure on the front. That's not the case here. They're nice and accommodating for everybody. So that's oval, intermediate oval and intermediate head shapes. If you have an overtly spherical round head, then you may find it pinches just a little bit on the sides, but those head shapes we do find are slightly rare. So I think for most people, this is gonna fit really comfortably. There are two shell sizes that switch between medium and large in the Rogue helmets. But what that means, of course, if you're normally a large, here you're a medium, therefore you're in the smaller shell, which is a really great thing because it's nice to have it as compact as possible. The shell size only increases laterally, so the actual height doesn't get any bigger. And in appearance, it's really hard to see any difference at all. So this is a small, this is a large, and I know you don't have the ability to really measure on the screen, but there is virtually no discernible difference at all. If you really do get out the measuring stick as we have done, it is very slightly wider in the larger shell, but it's only marginal and the actual overall appearance doesn't look bigger, which is a great thing because we always like helmets that are compact and particularly people with the bigger head sizes are gonna appreciate not having a very large shell, uh, which doesn't look great. So it looks really nice, neat and small. 
The actual interior of these helmets is fantastically comfortable and we were trying to figure out exactly why that is, what makes it so comfortable and it's really hard to explain. It's just very, very soft. It has an almost faux suede finish in terms of the feel of it, but it's not suede so it's going to breathe like a normal fabric rather than a leather and therefore be better in hotter weather. The cheek pads are removable and washable, which is good. The top liner in itself that sits right in the very top of the helmet is fixed, but that's less of a deal breaker. Mostly it's these parts you'd want to remove and wash. Really comfortable and a lovely, beautifully soft little cover to the chin strap as well. A nice detail on a slightly rugged looking helmet. So it's always good to have that sort of little creature comfort. You've got a double D-ring fastening system, which of course is the safest and most secure way to do the helmet up. And if you notice on the side of the helmet, you've got the Rogue branding and there's no getting that off and that's something you're just gonna to have to deal with. Most manufacturers don't let you take the branding off. It's quite rare in this day and age. For example, the Bell Moto 3 as well has it written all the way around the side in quite obnoxiously large writing. So at least here, it's a little bit more toned down. The actual goggles themselves that you can get for this helmet, they're developed specifically for this item and they fit really wonderfully. So you get a very good seal around the edge of the goggles, which is good if you're gonna use this at higher speeds for a road or possibly even short blasts on the motorway. It's gonna be a really good feature there. They've got an anti-fog, anti-scratch lens. As I mentioned earlier, the lens is interchangeable with the clear versions you can buy for a few pounds as an optional extra. You have a difference of trim, as you can see around the opening and the underside of the helmet. So you get it either in this black vinyl finish or you get it in the chrome trim, depending on the colorway that you go with. The goggles themselves do have a lovely gel backing to them. So although there's no retaining clip on the back of the helmet, these fit really nicely and stay in position. It's actually fairly common for motocross helmets not to have that because the assumption is that you're gonna be wearing a specifically suited motocross goggle that always comes with this gel backing which just gives it that grip it needs to keep in place. So I think that the Rogue Peruna is a fantastic product and it really actually surprised me and sometimes I sort of think I know everything having seen every product in the last 10 years come and go but it just goes to show when you execute a product correctly it does really open doors for a new brand like Rogue. I'm gonna get myself one of these and replace it for my current helmet. I love the way these look and feel. And we think that you guys, if you do get a chance to try these on, will agree with us as well. If you've got any thoughts, comments, questions, feedback, etc., as always, we love to hear those in the section below the video. And if you've got any of those questions, we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. And stay tuned for more video reviews of the world's finest riding gear. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.